Hello friends, welcome back. Today we're going to use state to toggle an element. Sometimes you might need to know the previous state when updating the state. However, states state updates may be asynchronous. This means uh, React may batch multiple set state calls into a single update. <clears throat> this means you can't rely on previous value of this dot state or this dot props when calculating the next value. So you should not use code like this. You don't want to see, so this is a code, they're setting the state, and within it they're setting a counter equal to the, the previous state of the counter to the new one. This was going to cause a problem. So instead you should pass set state, a function that allows you to access state and props. Using function with set state guarantees you're working with the most current values of state and props. This means that the above should be written as follows. So what we're doing is this dot set state, and then we're passing in state and props, which are parameters from the uh, function. And within there, we are setting the counter equal to the counter plus the props dot increment. Uh, you can also use a form without props if you need only the state. So if you don't need the props, you can just use the state. Uh, note that you have to wrap the object literal in parentheses. Otherwise, JavaScript thinks it's a block of code. <clears throat> okay, cool. So, my component has a visibility property which is initialized to false. The render method ret returns one view if the value of visibility is true, and a different view if it is false. Currently, there is no way of updating visibility property in the component's state. The value should toggle back and forth between true and false. There is a click handler on the button which triggers a class method called toggle visibility. Pass a function to set state to define this method so that the state of visibility toggles to the opposite value when the method is called. If visibility is false, the method sets it to true and vice versa. Finally. Click the button to see the conditional rendering of the component based on its state. Hint, don't forget to bind the this keyword to the method in the constructor. Okay, cool. Um, I'm just first going to stretch this out so I can see the code a little bit better. Um, okay, the first thing that we're want going to want to do is create a toggle visibility method within this function. Um, I'm just making the spacing make a little bit more sense here. This is within the button. Cool. And so <clears throat> here we have the render method. This is the constructor method. And we want to create a new method called toggle visibility. So toggle visibility. And within this method, we want to set the state. So when we, when we, make, an, when we make this new component, we have a constructor, um, then, and so we get this state. So right, so um, we want to go this dot set state state. So we want to set the state, and so we want to create a function within here, um, in which we set the state. Um, and we're going to pass into this set state function the state. And we want to make a call based upon that parameter. So if the state dot visibility is equal to true, or yeah, yeah, because right now it's equal to false. So when the first time, if it's equal to true, so if it's true, we want to uh, set the state. So which means we need to pass in a we need to pass in an object here, right? So we want to return an object in which visibility is equal to false because we want to turn it off at this point. We want to turn the visibility off. And then we can say else we want to return visibility true. Um, okay, right? Because <clears throat> if we just did set state visibility true, that would, be, that would not work, right? Um, if we were to get rid of all this and we just had visibility false, that would make it so it would work if it was true, but and then it wouldn't work the next time because we need to pass in an object to the set state variable. Um, 
set state requires an object. So we're just saying if the state, if the if it's if the visibility is set to true right now, then make it false, and then then this then take this object. But if it's if the visibility is set to false, then take this object. That's what we're doing when we toggle visibility. We're saying, okay, so we're going to set the state and then say, okay, well, we need to pass in uh, a function related to the state that it's currently at. That's why we need to do it in this uh, sort of way. And so the next thing that we have to do is ensure that the component is passing in um, the... Uh, the, po the component has the capacity to do toggle visibility. So this dot toggle visibility is equal to um, this dot toggle visibility dot bind. And then within there, we pass in uh, this. And now if we click here, okay, cool. So what we're doing is we're saying this dot toggle vi visibility. So if somebody calls uh, if when, when we call uh, toggle visibility, it says what we're saying is if somebody says to, uh, whatever my component dot toggle visibility, we're saying if somebody says um, my component dot toggle visibility, it's running to this function. And what we want to do is say, and we're setting that equal to this, meaning the whole uh, component, and we're saying toggle visibility, and we're applying this to it and that get, kind of gives it access to this within here uh i hope that makes sense uh let's run the test and see if it passes okay so that passes so this is uh, the way to do it uh, it's it's a bit of a tricky one to understand there's a lot of new new sub, new uh, subject matter in here and um it takes a second to get used to this is it's all very react stuff so i would recommend if you're not understanding this now go over it like three or four times uh until you start to understand this because it's very useful stuff um so yeah hope that helps and we'll see you in the next lesson